everyone, so today we are going to be doing a little bit of a different video because this is going to be all on how I like to set up my planners. So if you are not familiar, I like to do the Erin Condren planners and I like to do like sticker spreads. I actually have a sticker shop myself where I sell weekly kits and a la carte items and decorative stickers that you can purchase to decorate your weekly spreads in whatever planner you like to use. And July is always the start of a new year for a new planner for me with the Erin Condren planners coming out. So I'm going to share with you guys how I like to set up my sticker planning and how I like to kind of have things really planned out far ahead in advance because I find if I don't, I get behind in my planner so easily. And then I end up with huge gaps in my planners, which make me really kind of sad because if I'm not doing it right, I don't want to do it at all. So I'm going to share with you guys a lot of my sticker kits that I sell. So if there's anything that you would like to purchase, definitely check the description and I will have a link to my shop where you can find all of my unique sticker designs. You won't find these anywhere else because I do illustrate everything myself and they're all 100% unique designs. So without further ado, let's get started and I will show you guys how I like to plan out my sticker kits for my planners. Hey everyone, it's been a long time since I've done a planner video, but I'm trying to get back into it. I wanted to share a little bit about my organization method with you guys. This is a cover from Erin Condren. I had this one from last year and I'm reusing it again, obviously. And it's this beautiful faux leather pink kind of case here and I love it so, so much. So this is my planner for 2023 to 2024. This is the Erin Condren Life Planner. I did talk a little bit about this in my, I think it was my May monthly vlog whenever I purchased it and received it. So it's pretty much the same as, you know, your typical Erin Condren Life Planner. I always like the vertical ones, the ones that typically look like this. They are just my favorite ones and they work great for sticker planning. So that is the one that I got and I went with the neutral color because I didn't want the uh, printed colors clashing with any of the sticker kits that I have planned for this. So I think that this one is just a perfect, nice neutral blank canvas. So that's a little bit about my planner itself. I will have a link to where you can get this planner and I do have a referral code below so you can get a discount off your order if you use that code. And now I want to move on to a little bit about how I like to do my sticker organization because that's one of the things that keeps me from going all the way with a planner and completely filling it out. My very first year that I did these kinds of planners with Erin Condren was like 2016 and I think that was the only year I completely filled up my planner. So I definitely want to make sure I am making use of it this year. So first things first, this is my large planner sticker binder. And this is how I like to organize my stickers. So first off, I have the actual little clear binder itself. I can't remember if I got this from Shein or from Amazon. I will have to check through my orders and see if I can link to this one still. It's just like this really pretty kind of rose gold hardware with a clear vinyl cover here. And then of course it snaps shut. And then the little pocket inserts that I have in here, I know for sure that I got from Shein. And I have a few extra of them here. So basically these these are just the little inserts that I clip into the rings and I have a few different styles of these. So this one is like a little double pocket one. This one is a full sheet one. And then this one has four little pockets here. So I have a mix of all three of these types in my actual little planner binder here and use them for different things. So first off, this one is pretty stuffed and I don't even have a whole lot of kits in there yet. So starting off in the front here, I do have one of those little quarter pouches in here. And I do have some leftover stickers in here from uh, the last several years. These are just some ones that I don't really use that often. So I always like to save these and then I'll either use them in my functional planner or for something else. So I just have a whole bunch of little random bits and bobs in here. Have a few little miscellaneous foil things here. And then again, just random little overstock stickers. So next up, I'm going to show how I like to actually set up this. So the rest of the binder here are the full sheet pockets here so I can fit these kits in each sleeve. And these are all kits that I have illustrated myself and designed and I sell all of these on my Etsy shop. So if you see any designs that you like, definitely check out my shop and you can purchase those there. I'll get more into the kits themselves in just a few minutes. So next up, if you can see, I made these little 
little stickers to go on the bottom corner of every single section of the dividers here because some people prefer to write in the dates of the year like July 1st to July 7th or whatever it may be. But the thing I didn't like about that was then I would have to replace these stickers every single year, which I kind of really wasn't that excited about. So I decided instead of putting the actual dates on there that I would just do uh, five weeks for every month. And even though not all months have five weeks, there are several that will you know split between two different months so I wanted to have a space for every single one that way again I don't have to keep redoing these year after year and putting stuff in taking stuff out it's just set and ready to go for pretty much ever so each week I have week one through five then I also have a spot for the monthly designs and then I also have one for note the notes pages for every month again like if it's the dashboard page or whatever it may be i typically don't do these too much i don't really have a whole lot of sticker kits designed for these uh like dashboard pages anymore but i am starting to kind of experiment with what i would want to offer if i did do those types of kits so those are in here as well and then again it just keeps going on to every single week and then for any weeks that i do not have there's not a fifth week for that month, like for this one is August. August will not have a fifth week. So for example, July 1st fell on a Saturday. So even though there was only one day in this week that was July, this is the first week of July kit, if that makes any sense. And so, so on and so forth. So any of the weeks that there's not a fifth week, that one is just kind of like to visually remind me what I need and what I don't need. So now really quickly, I just wanna go through some of my kits. I will show you like the format of my kits with this first one and then I'll just kind of quickly flip through some of the other kits. So starting off since the first week in my Erin Condren planner this year is actually not a 4th of July spread. I was actually very excited because that means I get to do whatever I want. So I decided to choose this kit. I did get crumble this week and I'm not gonna lie, I get crumble a lot now that there has one opened in my my towns so I get to indulge in it a little more often than I used to so this one is a crumble inspired kit this one is called crumbly cookies in my shop if you are looking for this and this is the first sheet of my kit it is the full box pages here and then there is a little bit of extra space so I added one more little label here then we have the check boxes here and I like to always change the icon to something different every kit to kind of like make it fit the kit so this one it's a little chocolate chip cookie there next page is the date covers with the dates and icons and glitter flags next is the today labels and little labels and little things here whatever you want to call them uh, there's also two habit trackers here and two appointment labels then this page there are glitter headers there are seven sets of different color glitter headers then there's also flags here you have a weekend banner some of my newer kits do include these little like post-it note kind of stickers and the little tassel and these extra big flags and then this bottom space here is usually reserved for any decorative stickers so that always changes with each kit and then the final page here this is the washi page it has the bottom washi here it has a movie marquee and it has eight quarter boxes as well so that's pretty much the same format for most of my kits unless they are an older kit which there might be just a couple minor differences but most of my kits do follow this for the most part all right and the thing that i love so much about this little pocket system is if i on a whim just decide you know maybe this isn't the kit i want to do anymore i can easily pick them out and rearrange them and put them back wherever i feel like i want to put these and it just kind of makes the planning process the pre-planning process go so much easier because that's my problem with not keeping up with my planners is i don't have my stickers all printed and cut and organized and everything like that so whenever i really take the time to kind of like do all that stuff ahead of time, it makes it so much easier and I'm much more likely to keep up with my planner. Okay, so that is the crumbly cookie set. This is also kind of be a little bit of like a preview, like flip through of kits that I have and what I'm planning to use. And of course, like I said, I haven't printed everything yet, so there's still a lot more to go. And I try to just print stuff ahead as pretty much as soon as I can, um, especially if it's a kit I've already used before and I already have like all the artwork set up and everything. It's 
it's easy to do. So you'll also get a little bit of a sneak peek at what kits I'm planning on using soon. All right, so next up, this is a redesign. I'm not gonna go through every single kit, but I will kind of talk about some briefly. This was actually a redesign of a kit that I had, and I really just, I don't know, I changed a few elements this year, but I feel like I like it so much more. This one is called Stars and Stripes, and this is my 4th of July kit. Obviously, it is going for my 4th of July week. This one is kind of like a tentative. It could be here, it could move, it, I really don't know yet. This one is called California Summer. This one's kind of just inspired by like Santa Monica Pier, Boardwalk, and it doesn't necessarily have to be California. I mean, it could also be a little bit of like a Coney Island or amusement park or, you know, just a boardwalk in general, but I felt like this would be a really fun like summery kit. So I put it in here for now, especially if I have a week where I don't really have a kit that would necessarily warrant being used for something but definitely like a cute summer kit so I do like that and I do have four different variations with any of the ones that I have like a girl illustration in them I like to include usually four different variations so um, there's like a blonde a redhead a brunette and then uh, black hair so there's different varying skin tones with those two so I like to offer those whenever I have a more illustrative like fashion girl in the kit okay this one I am dying over you guys. This one was a kit that I love how it turned out so, so much. I don't think it needs any explanation, but this one is called The Dream House. And this one is obviously inspired by like the upcoming Barbie movie as I am filming this right now. It has not come out yet. It is like a week out as I am filming this. So I can't wait to use this one. This is like the perfect kit for this week. And every time I look at this, it just makes me so happy. Like you guys, I love this one. I, I'm not gonna go through every single one, but just these colors are so fun and bright and pretty. And honestly, like, it just makes me so happy. So definitely hit that one up if you need a Barbie dream house kit. All right, another tentative kit. Again, I, you know, I just like to have any time kits that you can kind of just fill the gaps. So this one is called Sushi Date. This one is another really fun one. Again, I do have different uh, skin tone and hair color options as well. This one is obviously just inspired by like going to like a really nice upscale sushi restaurant. I am a big fan of sushi, so it's one of those kits that I feel like it just, it could go for any, any time. Okay, and I'm gonna stop there. I have plenty more kits in here that I do plan on using over the next few months, but I do want this to be a little bit of a surprise as well. So again, if you are interested in any of these kits, I will have links to them to my Etsy shop and you can purchase those there. But I've got a ton of other ones already pre picked out and again like I said tentatively placed and I just kind of like to do all the major holidays first and kind of like get those into place and then see where I need to fill in the gaps so for July this is like my tentative sticker planner designs and I do plan on trying to do plan with me's for each of them so I'm gonna try to film a couple right now because I'm a couple weeks behind in my planner so that will probably be my next video so that's a little bit on how I like to kind of like pre-plan or organize my sticker kits because like I said organization is the key for me otherwise I get so far behind and then I feel like I can never catch up so this is just my go-to way to do it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.